Well, I thought we'd give it a go and see how it performs using this lovely Lotus. I think it was a Type 49 that I picked around Brands Hatch. And, and whoa, held that. Ladies, gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome back to Make, Repair, Recycle and another video on the DIY sim wheel build. Now, uh, been a little while since I've done one of these. I uh, haven't made too many changes to the physical build of this. Uh, I've added a, uh, something to lift it up slightly and I've pushed it back on the desk just to give me a bit more space between me and, and the wheel, make it a bit more comfortable to drive. Uh, and the other thing I've built, well it's not entirely finished, is a new power supply for this so I'm not using the big loud bench top supply um, that I have been using. That's not quite finished, that'll come up in another video fairly soon. I'm just waiting for some more parts from eBay. But what I wanted to do today was to get the thing back out again quite frankly because I've also made some upgrades to my PC which means I should be able to do some reasonably good recording. I had been doing some but it was stuttering, it was losing track uh, alignment between audio and video and I've actually changed the video editing software as well. But anyway, all of those issues out the side. I want to give this another go. I want to try and see if the power supply can keep up. Uh, the one you can't see, full ATX power supply. I don't know what the rating on the benchtop one was. The micro ATX I think is rated at something like uh, 16 amps on the 12 volt line. So what I thought we'd give it a go and see how it performs using this lovely Lotus. I think it was a Type 49 that I picked around Brands Hatch. And, and whoa, held that fairly well. <laughs> That's a good start. I've turned the AI down quite a bit on um, Project Cars 2 because I don't really want to be spending lots of time competing in <coughs> traffic and the AI. I don't know, Project Cars 2 got a bit of a slating for its quality and level of AI, but actually I didn't think it was too bad. You know, you do get a few where they will try and drive into the back of you. Oh, that's not the apex, is it? That was miles away. But I quite like it. Visually, it's okay. So, getting some nice bumps and feedback through the wheel, which is nice. Can feel it sliding around underneath you, which is lovely, which is what I like about these old Formula cars, as they slide around. It's not all slicks and wings and downforce and grip. They do move around underneath you and it's not... It is a different, a different way of driving, it's a different skill set. And I think it's a bit more fun, to be honest, you're not. Every corner is going to be slightly different because you're as well prepared as you can be, but it's going to slide around underneath you. Understeer, oversteer, four wheel slides. It's all good fun. Now, I've done, done it too much, but lately that left paddle shift has been sticking a little bit. Which is more annoying than anything else because it sticks in the down position. So you do have to, oh dear, that's bad. You do have to flick it back sometimes, but. It wasn't an intention to design and make these th the paddles quite as robust as I did. It's just, it's just the materials I had laying around. So, but you do have to give them a good old smash to change gear. So you're really stuck there again. It's annoying. If you smash them, it's actually more likely to come back and bounce back again using the magnet. I was toying with the idea of putting springs under them just to give it a bit more of a return, but I haven't actually got any that fit. So, more than likely, it's just the screw thread underneath. Whoa, that's bad. Screw thread underneath the. Whoa, lovely. Screw thread, which is the. providing the pivot pin for the. Paddle shifter. I 
just maybe needs a little bit of a fine out or a bit of a clean. Maybe he's got something. Ah, oh, damn it, they're terrible. As you can see, I am not the world's greatest in racer. I don't think I'm going to be challenging Rudy Van Buren anytime soon. But in fairness, I'm better on this than I am on, on Fortnite. So, I've had a few questions from people and some lovely comments, which is nice. And, you know, why use bearings on a chain? Well, obviously, you know, if I was building this properly and it was a complete prototype, you'd use some kind of chain sprocket as an idler. Now, I've used bearings, much like lots of things I've used on this, is an eye to what. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> um, what I want to do in the future, which is next couple of months oh and another one sorry um, in the future is replace the the lovely chain that came from the micro scooter the electric scooter with belt drive that is still my intention and I would have bought the parts to do that this month however my wife's clutch went and that was 1500 quid gone this month so Parts are hugely expensive, but real world cars have to come first sometimes. Oh, break too late in there. And we're going round. <laughs> oh, I love these old things. Oh, and you're on grass. Just didn't quite catch that one in time. Too late in there. Just take like I don't know why there. I must be set really low. I didn't see what level. Ah, yeah, post be wide. Round we go again. <laughs> right, let's get going. I'm done. Ah, they're actually. I thought they were back markers. No. All right, come on, concentrate. Not helping. Yeah, so as you can see, not the world's best in racer, but the wheel is doing a lovely job. I did do a few laps just before this using the Porsche 917 around the old Le Mans, which firstly is bonkers. If you've if you've got a chance to give it a go, do, sorry, I've done it again, do give it a go because that is mad, because I just cannot, the guys who used to do that, you know, Derek Bell and others, just must have the most enormous berries on them, quite frankly. Driving those things around, they're, they're heavy, they're not easy to steer, it's constantly trying to spear you into the barrier. Um, and you'd be doing it for two, three, four hours at the stint, and then in the dry, in the wet, um, in the middle of the night, you know, while doing for a significant portion of the lap at Mulsanne, doing 250 miles an hour. You know, it's just in, in a chassis which is made of tubular aluminium, where your feet sit further forward than the front axle. Right? It's just, it just. Giants, quite frankly. So yes, that driving that around is significantly different to this. I mean, this feels almost, you know, it's like driving a. It's a lot lighter. It's like you know, it's comparing driving a, a tank or something, you know, a, a heavily laden van compared to driving a, a Renault 5 or a Clio to the supermarket. laps have we got left here? One more to go. Oh, so slow! Come on! Let's try not to bean anyone else off here. Even if they are, I always feel a little bit bad. So I think that might be the leader in front. Let's see if we can get around him. Yeah. 
for him? Yes, it was. Excellent stuff. So, even with a few catastrophes, we can still beat some fairly terrible AI. Oh, no, there's another lap. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. Well, that's... That has unfortunately ruined what was a reasonably good run. Must pay attention to the lap board. I don't think we're going to make up five places in this. Pushing too hard now. Oh, we've locked wheels. We've pushed one into the barrier. Oh dear, it's all going horribly wrong now. Never mind. Oh, break a bit too late in there. Missed the apex by a mile. And they're all hopelessly slow round here. Go around the outside. Walk. Understeer, oversteer. It's beautiful car. And across the line. So what do we learn from that? Well wheel's doing very nicely it's yeah it's got a bit of warmth to it now it's not hot hot um mx5 races in i racing round the charlotte roval 40 minutes in one go this was getting quite toasty um you can still hang on to it but it you know you wouldn't have to hang on to it for long power supply a little hidden box in there worked a treat that's not dripped out that's lovely which is grand so uh, yeah, all things good. So there'll be more of this coming. A few more developments still in plan with this. I've got a few more pennies to put towards it. So in the meantime, if there's anything you'd like to see me take on with this in this wheel, stick it in the comments. If you want to see more developments of this over the coming months, hit subscribe and like and ring that bell. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.